Hi, Mike Delisio from Solo Mode Games. Today I'm going to be doing a quick solo playthrough of Orchard by designer Mark Tuck and publisher Side Room Games. Orchard is a game that is made up of a total of 18 cards. You're only going to be using half of the deck, nine of them at any given time, laying out these cards in different orientations, trying to match up colored trees so that you can grow and harvest more and more fruit. Now I can tell you that by looking at me, I imagine you can tell I know my way around an orchard. I am quite the, uh, quite the green thumb, so to speak. So, how successful will I be? Will my gardening skills that have been well-renowned amongst many, many people, will they come through in this simulation of a farming and harvesting game? Let's head on over to the table and take a look. All right, well, here's normally the time in the video where I would have the game all set up and I say, here's the setup for Orchard, a nine card solitaire game. But one of the interesting things about this game is how quick it is to set up. So why don't we just do the setup right here on camera? We open the box, take the rules out, take out the 18 cards. There's our dice representing fruit with our two black cubes representing rotten fruit, which we want no part of. We put those off to the side. These have been shuffled. We deal out nine cards, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place those there, the other nine go off to the side. We take one of these cards, we flip it face up as our kind of our, our seed card. We draw two and away we go. That's the setup for Orchard. Let me move this a little bit closer. What we're trying to do in the game is overlap colors of trees uh, so that we can grow fruit on those trees. We're, we're trying to harvest the fruit. And we do that by overlapping cards uh, either either orientation. Uh, you can turn them any which way, so you know, as long as they're perpendicular or parallel. And you have to cover up at least one tree from the card underneath it. And you're trying to match colors. For every color that you match, you're gonna put a corresponding fruit die on there, the first time you uh, overlap a card, you're gonna get a one value. If you were able to do it again, you get three, and then finally to six. So let's see what I can come up with here. Um, I can do yellow and red, but then the blue and the, and the red don't match up here. Um, this is not a great first card for me. Um, I can do that. That might be my best option right now, that blue and that yellow matchup. Because uh, I don't think I've got any other real... I can do it this way. I could do the blue and yellow this way. Uh, either way, I'm really only getting two dice out there. But uh, looking at this next card... Yeah, that's what I want to do. Because if I place this card, then I can place this and cover all those. So let's do that. I put the blue one there. Make sure I've gotten that right. Yep. The blue one, the yellow one, that's it. What I can do there, I draw a card. But, as I said before, I saw that the card that I had can cover all of those. So I can get that to a three and all of those will be ones. That's probably better than anything else I have here. Um, yellow, yellow. Yeah. So let's just do that. This becomes a three. This becomes a one. This becomes a one this becomes a one. Draw up. All right, let's see what I've got here. Um, uh, yellow, red, blue. I can do that and get all three of those. Um, let's see if there's another thing that's better. Yellow, red, red, blue is not great there. Um, probably my best bet is right here. This comes, becomes a three, those two becomes ones. There we go, I draw up. Let's see what I got here. Um, okay, blue, red, yellow doesn't work there. I'd love to get that three to a six. That doesn't work there because that red doesn't match. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to change that right now. Let's see if I can change that three. I need a yellow, blue in that orientation. It's not looking good for me. So I think I might need to look other ways. I can certainly do this. I can do... No, I can't do that. 
you're probably seeing a much better play than I'm not right now. I'm sure that happens all the time. I can do this and cover up that yellow and blue. Um, yeah, it might be. I'm wondering if I want to go this way or yeah, let's go this way. So I put out a blue and I put out a red, one of each. You got to get those ones to threes and threes to sixes. All right, let's see what I got here. Um, blue, yellow, that doesn't work. Do I have a red, blue, red? I don't I have a blue, red, blue, which could go right there. That might be nice. I can get both of those to threes. So maybe I do that. All right, so I'm going to make these threes. Get this a little bit more tightened up. That's a three. That's a three. That's a one, right? Yep, because that's the first time that's been covered. Yep, that's a one. All right, we're still on camera pretty well. Let me draw another card. Can I get any of these threes to sixes? I have a blue, red, blue again. Blue, red, no. I'm really struggling to get the threes to sixes. Blue and yellow. Blue, yellow, yellow. Yeah, unfortunately, that would be great if I can cover all those up, but I can't. Blue, red. Hmm. So, let's see. Let me move this off to the side a little bit. Well, no, I'm going to leave it there. I'm afraid of messing things up too much. If I get off camera, I'll shift it a little bit. Um, yellow, blue, red. Does not work there. Yellow, yellow, blue. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Yellow, yellow, blue. We're still on camera. Let me try to shift things a little bit. There we go. That's better. Yellow, yellow, blue. One. Ah! One. One. And one. All right, come on now. Let's get a couple sixes out here, shall we? Yellow, blue, red, red. That would get me... I'd get a rotten fruit there, but I'd cover up five other things. Is that the negative three worth what I would get? That would be three points right there. So I think it would, in the long run, be worth it. Let me see. Yellow, yellow, blue, red. And that's, yeah, that would be too messed up. So let's do this. Yellow, blue, red, and that red. So everything but the, the this yellow would be, would be increased. That's going to be a rotten fruit. All right. So this becomes a six. This becomes a three. That was the rotten fruit. That's a one. That's a one. And let's see if I can get any other points here to maybe counteract that minus three. Can I get any threes to sixes? Um, yeah. I really need to to, to switch because I can't put more dice out there right now. I could at least get that to a three by doing that. I can get that. Yeah, that might be my best bet. Is there any way I can get a three to a six? I would need red and blue there or blue and yellow there. No, I don't think there's any way I can get a three to a six. I can get a one to a three by going here. All right, so let's just do that. This becomes a three and actually this three and that three cancel out. So let's just add up the numbers, keeping those out of the out of the mix there. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Let's see how I did. I'm gonna guess not very good. Twenty-seven. Hey, I was forget a pull. Hmm. Forgettable. Yeah, quite forgettable. That was not uh, not terribly successful. Um, Shall we try the other nine? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get these off to the side. I'm going to clear these cards out. Clearly, this was a poor orchard. It was all the cards. It was not my lack of skill. So we take the other nine cards, flip over the first one there. Let's put it this way. That could have also been my problem. See, so many reasons why I could have done poorly, why I was forgettable, not because of my lack of skill. Let's draw two. All right. So let's see here. We've got a blue, blue we can do. Um... We've got a red yellow we can do. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to do me much. That blue blue. 
Yeah, let's do that. We'll put out those two blues. All right, and draw up. All right. And it doesn't work. Blue red could work. That yellow red could. No, that doesn't work. All right. Hmm. That works. Yellow, yellow, red. All right. One. 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 I'd like to see more threes and sixes. If I have a blue, yellow, blue, yellow, that would be great. I do not. I have a blue, yellow, red. I can get both of those to threes. That might be nice. Let's do that. Blue, yellow, red. These become threes. I get a red one out there. Still on camera, right? Yeah, we're still on camera. Shift it this way. Draw a card. All right. Can I get blue, yellow? No. Can I get yellow, red? Blue, ah, close. Yellow, red, blue, I'd have to put a rotten apple there. I don't know that it's worth it this early in the game. Um, I've got a double red I can put there. That might be good to at least get that to a three. So let's do that. Oh, I put the wrong color out there. You all saw that a long time ago. All right, uh, let's do that. Make that a three. Make that a one. All right. Let's see here. Can I get some threes to sixes? That would be splendid. Yellow, blue. Not there. Um, red, red, and out. No, it doesn't work. Yellow, red. Nah, that, that blue messes up there. Oh, oh, that's close. That yellow, yellow, blue, red works there, but that's a that's a rotten fruit there, so I don't want to do that. Blue, red, no. Mm. Not great. Not great, folks. This is looking like another poor orchard by any stretch of the imagination. Um, oh, I could do this. Blue, red, yellow, and red, and red there. That's not bad. At oh, no! That's a red! Nope. See, I thought I had something working. I didn't have anything working. I had a whole lot of nothing working. Let's do this. No, let's not even do that. Ah! So bad. I'm doing so bad. Um, this, is, this is rough. And you're here to struggle along with me. All right, so let's do that. We'll do the yellow and blue there. One and one. Oh, after all that, I get out two lousy points. Horrendous. Okay, so let's see here. Um, blue, blue, red, yellow. I can do that. That's a good one. Hey, I can finally feel decent about one. Blue, blue, red, yellow. So this becomes a six. That becomes a three. That's going to be a six. That's going to be a three. Six, three, and a one, and a one. All right, my last two cards. Let's see if I can get some of these threes. I'd love to get a three to a six without taking a rotten fruit. Uh, those yellows are in a bad spot. Because I've got yellow, oh, I'd only, wow. I might do this, I could cover all of this up for one rotten fruit. That seems to me to make sense. Because this works for all but that one. All right. Yeah, let's do it. The yellows become sixes, everything else becomes threes, and this one becomes a rotten fruit. We do that. Yellows become sixes. Everything else becomes threes. Let me check the rule book and make sure that I can cover all of the, uh, that I can, yeah, it just says that I can, it must overlap a tree. It didn't say I can't overlap the whole card, so, all right. 
Let's see what I can do here. I think I'm going to end up with a better score. At least my gut is telling me I am. Uh, can I get that? Th those threes? Uh, I don't think I can get either of those threes to sixes. Can I get that? No. No. Oh, that's a shame. I'd love to get at least one of those threes to a six. But it does not look like it's meant to be. Blue, red, oh. Blue, red, yellow, yellow. Well, gosh, those would go to sixes and I'd have one more rotten fruit. Yes, that makes sense. Those don't go up, but those both become sixes. That's a rotten fruit. Yeah, that to me makes sense. All right. Those are going to be sixes. Those stay sixes. That becomes rotten fruit. All right. Let's see if I did any better this time. All right, so those six points take away that six. So I have four times six, 24, 25, 26, 27. Here I thought I was doing so much better. 27, I'm still forgettable. Wow, okay, well, so um, hopefully you got a good idea on how not to play Orchard, the nine card solitaire game. Um, I, uh, I'm not very good, I've never been I've never been told I have a green thumb, and this is just reinforcing all of those things people told me, which is stay away from anything growing and living because you don't do so well with it. So anyway, hopefully you got an idea on how uh, the game is played. It's obviously a very quick setup. It's um, you, you just put it out on the table. It takes up a very small footprint. And you know, interestingly enough, I am more and more asked recommendations for quick solo games that have quick setup, quick teardown, and take up a small amount of footprint on the table. And this obviously fits the bill. I played through two complete games in about 15 minutes or so. It does not take up a lot of space on the table. You can certainly do this on uh, a desk or a tray table on an airplane or a little lap table if you're sitting on the couch or what have you. Uh, it, it's something that can obviously be pay, played very quickly and, and breezily, uh, but you, if you're if you're better than me, you can also really manipulate to get a lot of points because if you look at the at the book here, you have 50 plus. I'm I'm getting about half of that. You know, um, I'm not getting anywhere near those terrific scores. I'm 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 in a world of hurt when it comes to the orchard. But you may do much better. You probably saw all kinds of terrific moves I could have, should have made, and did not. So, anyway, there you have Orchard, a nine-car solitaire game. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little playthrough. And as always, I thank you so much for your time, and have a great day!